Hello from Querétaro, Mexico. Today we're going to take you along with us as we show you a day in our life here in this city. For breakfast today we came to this place called Micaela and it's in the neighborhood of Alamos here in Querétaro. Looking at this place's Instagram, like everything you order here is picture perfect, so it's it's kind of cool for that reason. This is my first time here. Maya, you've been here before, right? Yeah, I've been here before with my best friend and I really fell in love with this place the first time I came. I've tried to order so many different things every time I'm here and I'm really glad that this time I'm trying something different as well. There's something interesting about this place is that they have milkshakes of various flavors like Kit Kat, Mrs. Fields and s'mores. Uh, they're actually some of the most expensive drinks on the menu, if not the most expensive, at about eight bucks a piece. But that's something I don't think I've ever seen at any restaurant in Mexico before. Well, for today, I got this Tropicana smoothie, which is a smoothie with uh, coconut water, strawberries, bananas, pineapple, and oranges. Orange juice. Yeah, and I was pretty surprised because I didn't know it was going to be this huge, but it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it's becoming a little bit hard for me to drink it because it's so tall <laughs> and my neck is not that long. But okay, I'm gonna try it. Mm, it also has a little bit of honey, I can feel it perfectly. I usually don't like honey. But in this case, it's a very well-balanced mixture. I'm really loving it. And I love the color in it and the flower at the top. <laughs> it was a very good choice, honestly. I'm happy. I got a vanilla chai. It's really hot in this glass cup, but there's like little flower petals on the top or something. Mmm, I love it. My vanilla chai was 85 pesos and Mai's smoothie was 83 pesos. This restaurant is really famous for its French toast, so we ordered that to share, and then we each ordered our own entree as well. Para mí, quiero los chilequiles con cecina and salsa verde. Okay. All of our food just arrived, and we seriously have so much to eat on our table right now. I don't think we're gonna have to eat ever again, uh, but I got uh, the chilequiles verde. Chilequiles are tortilla chips and in this case they're covered in a green sauce that has some like sour cream and cheese and onions on it as well and then I got it with cecina which is like a thin strip of beef. Today I got this omelette filled with grilled chicken, spinach and cheese. I think it's goat cheese. It comes with uh, beans with a little bit of extra cheese and a small piece of bread so I'm gonna try it. So I just tried my chilequiles and I like the salsa, the, the green sauce is really good. Um, I'm not a big fan of the cecina though because it's kind of tough, it's a little bit hard to chew and cecina that I've ordered before uh, was pretty tender. But my informed me that there's a couple different kinds of cecina and one is tougher to chew and one is more tender and uh, actually the one that's tougher to chew is more common. So it seems like that's what I got here. This French toast looks so good. Maybe a little unhealthy, but so good. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> Don't get jealous. <laughs> so good. All right, I'll give the French toast a try. Mmm. It's so soft and so creamy, but honestly it's not sweet at all. I thought it was going to be more sweet, but it's not. No, so, sugar all over it. Yeah, but you cannot feel it. So that's something that I'm really loving about this French toast, because yeah, it's over the top soft and it's very well balanced with the cream cheese and the um, berries all over the French toast. So yeah, for me it's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> So we definitely ate way too much, but I enjoyed my breakfast. I can highly, highly recommend the French toast there, as well as the vanilla chai. How about you? Would you recommend your omelette? Yeah, definitely. The portions of everything was huge and I honestly couldn't finish it. I just, I think I finished my breakfast, but like yeah. the main thing I ordered, but anything else. 
<laughs> yeah, forget yeah. about it. <laughs> and your smoothie was so gigantic, like you were sipping on that thing the whole time and you finished about a third of it. Yeah, <laughs> it was impossible to finish it. <laughs> So I've been doing some car shopping and ideally I want a small SUV, something that's four wheel drive. So today we're here at Hyundai seeing what options they have for us. So this white Hyundai Tucson, it's not four wheel drive and uh, he informed me that they don't have four wheel drive in their brand. It's all two wheel drive, but that's a 2018 with 55,000 kilometers and that is 440,000 pesos. So it's a little higher uh, than the budget I'd like to be in and it's not four wheel drive. So I don't think there's going to be any options here for me today. That guy told me that Hyundai Tucson had 55,000 kilometers, but then I looked at the odometer and it said over 100,000. So I'm not sure if he was looking at the information for another car or just had the wrong information or what. But anyway, I think we're gonna head to another dealership now. So now we're at Alemania Motors and they specialize in German vehicles here. They have an Audi SUV that's 4x4 but it's a, it's a bit higher than my budget. But you know I was thinking I don't want something so ostentatious so maybe like a yellow Lambo. What do you think my <laughs> Lambo? <laughs> I wanted to come to Alemania Motors because they get really great reviews on Google but I was totally not expecting <laughs> than to have a Lamborghini here. <laughs> I think that's a definite contender. <gasps> or I have an idea. We could do the Porsche and the Lambo and then you mix the two colors and you have tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> I would look prettier when you would want to go first. Yeah, until you get kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> so at Alemania Motors, they took down my WhatsApp number and he's going to text me if they get in any new inventory that uh, fits the type of vehicle I'm looking for. Uh, but right now we're just uh, going to run into Costco quick and grab a couple things that we need. Uh, but for some reason at Costco, a couple things always turns into a cart full of crap that costs me like several hundred dollars. <laughs> Whenever people find out there's Costco's in Mexico, they're always wondering, like, what's it like in here? Well, I would say about 50% of the products are the same as if you're shopping at a Costco in the U.S. And then 50 are going to be catered more towards the local market here. Uh, and as for prices, well, you have to remember if you're shopping at Costco here, the sales tax of 16% is already included in the listed price, whereas shopping in the U.S., the listed price is before tax. So just in the difference of sales taxes, you're looking at about a 25% difference in price. And 25% difference is usually about what you're going to experience here versus in the US. Yeah, those are really soft, especially on the inside. And they're 329 pesos. Look at these. I think they are so pretty. Are they plastic? No, they're not. Oh, they're like real dishes. Yeah. But look at this, it has carrots on it. Okay. Oh, them are so different. So. Well then. I love them. You really know how to make a woman happy. I just have to get you cute balls. <laughs> this vase is really pretty. Uh, and it's like, it's solid. This thing is heavy. By the way, do you know what the difference is between a vase okay. and a vase? about 500 bucks. But yeah, this is 289 pesos, so like $14 or so. I have an idea. Instead of buying a car, maybe I'll get one of these for 1500 bucks instead. I mean, I wouldn't mind cruising around in this. Maybe get a sidecar for Alaska, so she has a place to ride as well. I have some good news. I got out of there spending only 3,000 pesos. For 
dinner tonight, we're getting some Oaxacan food at this place called Zandunga. This is my first time here, but I've been to a restaurant called Zandunga in Oaxaca City that I absolutely loved. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, hoping this is as good here as it was there. We're outside right now. It's really pretty back here. You have the papel picado when you're walking in. You have the painted walls, the open air, the trees. I like it. What do you think, Mai? It's pretty cool. I love all the colorful ribbons all over the place. So yeah, I like Yeah, that. I like that too. And speaking of cool, it's getting kind of cold. I'm fine. Well, of course you are. You're in your warm stuff that you got from Costco. <laughs> yes, I'm loving it. It's like wearing pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Maybe I should go for the order two colors. <laughs> Get all of them. <laughs> yes. I feel I could wear this the whole week. <laughs> and if you got all the colors, you wouldn't just have three outfits. You would probably have like 10 outfits because you could go this top with it. the blue pants, this top with the gray pants, and so on. <laughs> yeah. If you're wondering why I'm so excited for this dinner, it's because of all the places in Mexico, Oaxaca has my favorite food. So anytime I get a chance to have Oaxacan food, I'm so excited about it. So 491 years ago, today, the city of Santiago de Queretaro was founded and we're eating dinner here in Centro, in Zona Centro tonight. So after dinner, we were thinking about going to some of the main plazas to see if there's anything going on for the anniversary celebration. Have you seen anything like that in previous years? Yes, but I'm not pretty sure about this year. I look at the social media for something special, but honestly, I didn't saw anything. Yeah. So let's just try. We'll find so out. We can find out. Gracias. All right, what'd you get, my? Well, today I got this thing called uh, nopal zapoteco, which is like a grilled nopal. Yeah, a cactus. With, yeah, a cactus. With cactus sounds weird, but okay, cactus. <laughs> <laughs> because for me, cactus is another different thing. But anyway, uh, with a tasajo, which is beef, and I think it has onion and uh, cheese and pimientos, peppers. Red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, all <laughs> kinds of peppers. <laughs> yeah, you're scaring me. Put your plate down. <laughs> you have a knife in my face and you're about to dump all your food off the table. Because I'm trying to explain my plate to everybody and you're getting too close and I cannot do that because you make me so nervous so I have to defend myself. <laughs> the only thing I have. Okay. <laughs> Weapons down. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I got the mole negro or the black mole and I was actually never a fan of mole until going to Oaxaca and trying the mole there in Oaxacan restaurants and then after that trying all these different kinds of authentic moles like yellow mole, red mole, uh, black mole and then some others as well. I turned into a lover of mole and now it's actually one of my favorite Mexican foods. But below the bed of mole sauce is chicken and then there's rice as well. So I'm excited to dig into this and that's what I'm gonna do here. It's good. <laughs> okay, so we were just having a little discussion about- It's not a discussion. Okay, go. <laughs> so I know discussion in Spanish means argument, but this was not an argument. It was a discussion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, we were we were talking about nopal, and she's like, it, it's weird for for me to call it a cactus. Yes, it's a type of cactus, but here it's nopal. Like that's just what it is. Like, and then she cactus. It's another thing. It's another species of cactus. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. But she looked it up and I was like, because I was like, well, what would the English translation be without using the word cactus? And I, I, I didn't know. But apparently it's a prickly pear cactus. No bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna use that word because first, we're in Mexico right now. Second, because 
that's so weird and I won't remember it for sure and third because I don't care <laughs> no <laughs> it's not fun but, but and it's raining by the way uh oh <laughs> so we had to hurry on inside because it started raining and if rain got onto you right here it could damage you and you might not be able to see or hear us so now we're safe inside but that might have ruined our plans for like any anniversary celebration tonight <laughs> maybe the rain will stop by the time we're done eating so if you're coming to mexico i think the best thing you can do for yourself is to start learning spanish and the best way you can do this is to get a mexican girlfriend <laughs> But if that's not a possibility for you, I highly recommend Rocket Languages. This is an awesome course, it's super thorough, and no matter what type of learner you are, whether you're an audio learner, visual learner, whether you wanna learn grammar, culture, they have all sorts of stuff and there's something for everybody in there. It's super thorough and it's a great value for your money. They're having their back to school sale right now. It's for the first thousand courses sold. So head on over to tangerinespanish.com, that's my affiliate link, and it will take you right there. That's 60% off for four days only or for the first thousand courses sold, tangerinespanish.com. Learn Spanish if you want to have a Mexican girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so for dessert, we got these fried bananas and they have uh, condensed milk and uh, a type of cream. They call it sour cream here, but it, it's, it's not the same sour cream that you're used to in the U.S. It's, it's much different than that kind of sour cream. But it's nice, it has a little bit of sweetness to it, and I'm always a big fan of this dessert. Ah, en bolsita, sí, ¿de cuáles tienes? Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Me das dos bolsitas, por favor. Mm -hmm. What are you getting the chapulines for? My father. To he, eat? He loves them with the skittles. Oh, ok. Sí, perfecto, gracias. So it's a very nice gift for my father. <laughs> Grasshoppers. <laughs> yes. So original. I'm gonna give you grasshoppers for your birthday present. Me? Mm. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's not happy. <laughs> and then I'll be spending my birthday alone. Because <laughs> I'll be mad at her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you're watching this. <laughs> He's gonna regret. <laughs> <laughs> so last night after we finished eating, we went to Plaza de los Fundadores to see if there was anything going on for the city's anniversary, and there wasn't anything at all. But if you like this video, please share it in a Facebook group and click on this video that Mai and I made last week. I think you'll really like that one as well.